Hello and welcome back to another episode of what is my show called? I used to be called Wake Up Poverty Inspires Me. Then, it'd be, and then I think I called it Awaken Your Potential because that's what the AI recommended based on what I was trying to do or say for my audience to kind of captivate the message that I was trying to put a, put out there to the world. And so I guess we're just going to say welcome to another episode of this podcast. I hope you're having a blessed, a fantastic day wherever you're out in the world. And well, if you're not, you know you can. It's possible because your attention has made that so. Your attention has created that possibility to exist. Well, what does that even mean? Attention. We're an attention-driven society. I mean, the world is not what it used to be. This is a fact. You know, social media and online, the ability to communicate with people on other parts of the world instantaneously, to form friendships and bonds with people you'll likely never ever meet. To be very much engaged in a world that is completely online, but yet it's right there because it's relevant. These are real people in real places. And and so what people think about you, what you think about yourself, all of these things come back to, are they liking me? Uh, am, 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 I, am I worthy? Did I get as many likes as, as this person? So the ability to adapt, the ability to... To adapt to the situation. <clears throat> right now I was making the podcast. I was I was in my energy. I was feeling good. And all of a sudden I I lost communication. I knew I wasn't being heard. You know, <clears throat> when you're expecting something to be a certain way and then it's not that way, you can almost feel like as if you're not heard. So feeling as if you're not heard, well, what did you have to do? Just like right now when my microphone went off, I had to readjust. I had to make sure that the power was correct and then I moved forward again. And here I am recording once again. It's been over a month, maybe longer, that I haven't created a new episode of my podcast. And I want to take a moment to thank everybody who has steadily been listening. And if you've been awaiting a new episode, well, here it is. You know, and I, and I purposely did this because I needed to really restructure what was the purpose of, of even doing this you know my, my goal is to make 100 podcasts by the end of the year and I still am in line to reach that goal I, I started out by, by using 10 minutes of wisdom it was a very good uh, theme and it, it would allow people to really get in there and kind of grasp the knowledge without too much you know just kind of yapping on I, I like to make it kind of sweet and to the point and this way you can give back to people so adaptation, we'll take that as our first lesson. You have to have the ability to adapt your thought process when it comes to your attention and how you're placing it. If you find yourself waking up and going to your phone or strolling the internet or whatever it is that you do, you, where is your attention? And if that attention is not giving you the feeling or the result that you want to have at it, then you just simply need to direct your energy in a different way. Because if it's not being directed in the other way, it's going to bring thoughts and feelings of negativity. Maybe you'll feel bad that it didn't get the required uh, expectation that you had for a certain post or uh, a picture. Uh, maybe you see something, then you compare it to yourself, and then you feel like you're you're just less than, and, and everybody is so much better than you. And so now you're just digging a deeper hole of, of this uh, spiraling behavior, this attention, this spiraling attention, uh, attentive behavior. So the way we change that is we can't change anything until we notice that there's something that needs to change. So unless you're aware of your attention spirals, your attention habits, you're going to likely place attention into places that isn't going to serve you. And when you do this, well, your life will be evident of it because of how you're waking up every day and approaching your day. You know, a lot of times we say there's not enough time. Uh, we have an excuse for, for things that we want to do or that we should do and we put it off until another day or another time when, when time when we feel like it. But we don't understand that. We're never ever going to feel like it until we realize and we wake up to our habits of, of putting things in places we don't want them. I could sit here all day with a square peg trying to put it in a round hole and never ever be successful and just throw my hands in the air. Or I could go buy a saw and I could make that square that circle into a square and push that sucker right through. You see, I can be inventive with my mindset. I can change how I want to place my attention. I don't need to keep pushing the same angle if it's not working for me. But this change is just not something that a person is just going to be ready to, to, to handle because if they could, they probably already would have. 
So, so what is preventing them from doing that is the fact that they can't see it. It's really hard to change things you can't see. So how do you change that? <clears throat> well, I can only use examples of things that have worked for me. Very simple. Anybody could do. You don't have to necessarily be working out, but I'm going to use the working out example. And then I'll just kind of go from there. So if you've ever worked out, there's a thing called a superset. And this is when you combine uh, one or more exercises into a, you know, a set of three or you know, with 10 or 12 repetitions each one. And so let's say you do in bench press and squat. And you're going to the bench press and then you go to the squat and then the bench press and the squat. And if you wanted to do that three sets of 10, you, you would you know, make that your goal and then carry on with your superset. Well, I found that when I was working, I was thinking of the next exercise while I was still on the first one. So, for example, purposes, if I was on the bench press, I'm thinking of the squat. And then when I'm on the squat, I'm thinking of the bench press. And when I'm on the bench press, I'm thinking, what set am I on? And the more I did this, the more I realized, you know what? You're not even here doing this set, this rep, this thing right here. that I lift this one to get to ten. You're not even physically, mentally, you're, you're physically, you're doing the repetition, but you're not here. You're opening your phone and scrolling through it. You're looking at it, but you're not here. Physically, you're sitting in your chair, but you're not here. Physically, I was moving the waist, but I wasn't there. How could I be in a place where I didn't exist, but I was there? But I was. But I wasn't. I noticed that my attention was drifting outward and forward into things not yet happening. I knew that once... the I would finish this set. I will move to the next one, but I needed to be in this set to fully get the benefit of it. So I started focusing my attention on the set I was on. And I said, you know what? Stop thinking about the squat. Stop thinking about the bench press. Stop thinking about nothing but this. Four. Breathe. Five. Breathe. Six. Breathe. Seven. Eight. Separate them. Exchange oxygen, carbon dioxide, and I'm moving. Nine, ten. Wait a minute. Something happened when I did that. It was so easy. I felt great. Ten minutes prior was the hardest thing in the world. I couldn't wait to get past this one so I could get to the next one so I could just be done. Right now, I got to go work out. And I'm thinking about it as I'm making the podcast. What am I going to do? Work. Let me just be here to record this. And to talk now. And when that comes, then I'll do it. And I'll do it fully. And I'll do this fully. Because I want to be present. I want to enjoy the things in my life. And if you want to enjoy your life, you need to be present to the reality that this is your life in this moment. And place your attention in places that it needs to be. Somebody told me, but Chris, you know, the social media, the this, the that, everybody's in their phone. I said, who has you looking at your phone, if not you? Well... Well, yeah, exactly. So you're placing your attention there consciously and you're even talking about it. So unconsciously, we're, we're digging at a deeper reality, a deeper emotion that's sitting there. A deeper feeling. That if you could identify that feeling, even if you feel it is negative, it's bad. Let it be what it is. Just identify it and approach it. They didn't like my post. They're not listening to my podcast. They're not buying my book. Well, I live this many, many times and I still do every day. But you know what? The ones that were meant to listen will listen. The ones that are going to read will read. It's not me. It's not about me. I'm just providing information that I am hoping will help you. Because it's helped me. And it only makes sense. If something has helped you and you know that it could possibly help another person, would you not tell them that? Well, of course you would. If you're any you know, decent, loving person, if you do something and you know it's going to benefit another person, why would you hold it in? When they succeed, you succeed. You've heard the term, I'm sure, attention goes where energy flows or energy goes where attention flows. My dyslexic mind is always backwards. But it's true. Place your attention on things that are important. This breath right now. The ability that I can be conscious to take inf information in and then turn it around into things that I want to accomplish. Things that I, I, I love. Uh, I can find out more of what I am, who I am. I can live. 
because I'm grounded in this present moment. I hope you have a blessed and a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And I really want to thank you for taking the time to listen to another episode of 10 Minutes of Wisdom. Social media, does it got your attention? Something like that. Until next time, be blessed.